What up, peeps? It's your girl, Dash. Come back, real takes. Well, it's that time, guys. It's horror short time. This one is through Alter. This one is titled uh, The Beast. Now, again, I always say, title sometimes just gets me all intrigued. Definitely am curious to see what this one's about. So, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's see if there's some thoughts up you guys. Side man, but base man. I love the way the camera is being. Where the hell are you? Don't know where it's where. What the hell is that? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we different interests and everything. I'm like, come on now. Demo 
mouth got bigger. Like, come on, like, come on. Like, out of there, out of there. spoke. I was about to say, yeah, 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 what the is, yeah, what is this? What did you just enter into, buddy? <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? Looks like the mouth of a creature you just entered. <laughs> oh my god, back out. Get out of there. Towards it more. Stop this kid. Yo. enjoyed this horror show first off shout out to the director now hope i'm getting this right i want to say is it jorge jara Milo? i hope i'm saying the name correctly my apologies if i'm not uh this one right here <laughs> and i always like the overall look of course it was found footage type of look and vibe 
always down for those. Uh, it's quite a few movies, really in the last you know couple of years where they've been doing it like that. The overall look and the appeal for that, and it's always been one of those ones that I always really enjoy watching. With this one, <laughs> I was wondering where it was going with it being called the Beast. Now you like you see it at the beginning, and you see somebody you know, of course, in a room at first. And then all of a sudden something happens where when they open up the closet and all of a sudden, you know, something happens where something must have, you know, got to them. And all of a sudden they, of course, appear and it looks like they wake up to find them somewhere below. And I'm thinking it might be in a basement or something. Oh, no, they're somewhere else and somewhere a little bit more creepier and unsettling. As the time goes on, you see them kind of entering, you know, from some hole right there. Should have stopped. But of course, we want to progress the story. <laughs> You know, what you were not to do as was a person, but here we are. And, you know, at first I, I have to give it to whoever it was behind the camera, you know, when you see this my footage because they are so damn quiet at first. But as they kept going, like you're entering, you know, as they say, what's that term I've heard um, saying, like the belly of the beast type of thing? Yeah, you're entering the belly of some evil. And at first I'm just thinking this, they're going through, you know, some sort of, you know, catacombs or whatever and all that whole. But then as you see, as time goes on, it like starts to look like the insides of a creature. Cause I was like, at first you see what looks like it'd be something against the wall where the mouth opens up more and he's just like, I don't know if the person's definitely intrigued. Let's go in it. No, please don't. But again, here we are going to like, you know what they, and I'm like, at first if you don't hear nothing from them, all of a sudden they start speaking and then you see what looks like be some sort of, you know, in a far away, some sort of, you know, you know, silhouette or something. And I'm like, you're going to go towards it. Like, once I see something that looks like it's moving, some sort of movement, like, that's it. Like, get up out. No. Continued. And so you hear something, some evil voice speaking back. And by that time, it was done. You see what looks like to be some sort of beast, and it starts to run. And they made the brothers trip. They made them fall. I was like, okay. And after that ending, where it looks like it finds its way where it's, you know, being succumbed within the mouth of whatever this, whatever this is, you know, slowly becoming a part of it. It's like, yeah, nowhere to go, buddy. You're you're in there forever. Also, I like the way, you know, the setting of this being, I mean, going, entering this thing and all that, the claustrophobia alone, just, oh, just eat me. I'm just like, oh, no, the that's definitely one of my worst fears. I can't be somewhere and I'm under something and I don't know where I'm at and just things are closing in more and more. I just, no, that's why I said, ain't no way I'm going to enter that. I don't care how much my interest is peaked. It's going to be peaked somewhere where I can move around, like where you saw those steps and them to go up, even though they can't know where. I will just be there. That thing's going to come for me. I'm not entering anything. So <laughs> with that being said, again, truly enjoyed this horror short. These are the ones where it could be longer where somebody else could stumble across whatever but like you said this is considered like found footage and all that so you know within this scenario and the situation with this individual you know it's, it's it's done you know all it can do is see how it played out and we saw that so again shout out to the director so with that said you guys comment below let me know what you think and with that said i'll see you guys next whole show you guys take care